This has inadvertently turned into a video on how to remove the screen when there's a screw stuck in it. And my best advice is this. You don't need heat, you just need patience, a razor blade, a little bit of alcohol, and a plastic guitar pick. So I'm gonna put the suction cup, normally I have it at the bottom, I'm gonna put it in the middle, and I'm gonna get the razor blade, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push it flat, just by the center of the screen, look, right in the middle. I'm gonna go straight down there, and I'm gonna add some alcohol, same as what I do with the bottom. Obviously, if you can, you need to remove the screws, and you do this from the bottom. But when you can't, what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift up with the suction cup, and you're gonna pry back with the razor blade until you've got a gap in there. And with that gap, you're gonna insert that blade, uh, sorry, not blade, guitar pick, and you're just gonna run it up in the small area that you've created, just there. You can't move it all the way around, you can't go around the bottom, you can't run it down that way, So, but you're just gonna go like that. Once you've got that, you can do the same on the other side. So we're just gonna put the razor blade flat in that gap between the screen and the frame, just really flat. Just be careful here because obviously you've got screen display cables just above the SIM tray. So don't, don't go whacking it in real deep, but if you just get it so that it's open a little bit, and then yeah, you're just gonna go up and down a little bit. Like within the center third, I think, up and down. Just make sure that it's separated. Once you've got that, we've got almost like wings on the phone. We're gonna go in from the top this time. And what we're gonna, what we're aiming to do is pop this into the gap between the mid frame and the screen. We're gonna add some alcohol again because at, at this point here, it's clipped in and it's stuck down with some adhesive. So obviously you need to be careful. But what I'm aiming to do is just pry backwards on the razor blade until eventually it should pop out. That's what I'm aiming to do. The reason I leave the screen on and I leave the phone on is because obviously there's a risk that we're going to break this. There we go. Eventually it'll pop out. That was on the 14 Pro the most difficult one that I've done. I worried that we were going to bust something then. I think the screen protectors probably hindered me a little bit. So now you can see that it's unclipped out of the out of the housing. I'm going to just press the emergency button so I can show you a white screen. So we've got the white screen there. I think the problem with the little ear speaker mesh what was causing me grief. You can see we've not got any damage to the OLED. And what we've got now is a screen that's removed from the top. So you see these clips here, that's what we were popping out, that's what I was struggling with. So now that we've got it in this position, it's just sort of wiggling it. We need to separate it from the bottom. The reason I'm prying at this point is to nudge it upwards. So once I've got that gap there, I'll probably nudge it with something a little bit thicker. So I'm nudging upwards to separate it from the metal part at the bottom. And then we're going to wiggle it until... Like I say, what you need to be careful of is like, if you're yanking it that direction, you don't want to pull it too hard. So we're just wiggling it that direction. So upwards until it pops out of the little holes that it sits in. You don't want to pull too hard. Is what I'm saying. If you can pry it, it's even better. It's awkward because there's not much to pry against. So I just very nearly had a bit of a meltdown before because I've, I've took lots of screens off this way but I never recorded it but sometimes you feel a bit of pressure and basically what I did then I managed to get this guy under there push it up like that and it pops it out of those little holes without doing any damage to the screen in there and what we're left with you can see I think it was just because there's such a tight gap in there, it was so difficult to get off. So anyway, that's how you take the screen off. My method without the screw. I've seen like some screw, I'll, t I'll try one of those screws what you put in there next time, but that's what I do for now.
So one thing I forgot to mention is what you actually do once you've got the um, screen off and how to get rid of the screw. And I use these weird little pliers and they're really good for pulling screws out. You want to get it started inside. Obviously remove the charge port, remove the battery. And you want to get it moving from the inside. If you get hold of it and you just start shifting it side by side slowly twist it so you grip grip it like that and it should start moving out of the hole it is slowly slowly pulling out so you just twist it side to side side to side get it moving until eventually you'll be able to get it from the other side so you, it'll look a little something like that you can see it's poking out a bit See how rusty it is as well. And then with these, the benefit of these pliers is that they they've got the shape that allows you to grip onto the end of it and spin the phone round or spin the pliers round. Just be careful; you don't want to be scratching the the bottom edge of the phone up to make a mess. But you can see it's come out now. There we go. So that's how you take it out. Just make sure that you take the charge part out. You'll not get it moving without doing that first. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.